Welcome back to another episode of Trail Talk. Today on Trail Talk, Eric, we're talking about five things that I love about the general. Okay. Everyone does this video. Yeah. We're doing this video. Five things I love. Am I going to do a five things I hate video? I don't know if I actually hate a full five things about the general. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, number one, not enough time to come out and use it. But five things I love about the general. It's gonna be a quick video, Eric. Okay. Let's get into number one right now. Number one, the suspension. Okay. And just simply, I'm talking like these bolts and bolts up here, out. Okay, got it. All of this hanging on to the front and the rear, all four corners of the vehicle is my, f these aren't necessarily in order. I wanna say it's my favorite thing. I like a lot of stuff about the general. Yeah. The suspension, the capability, the high clearance, the d the big tires that come on the XP. Um, this machine we've had on a ton of different trails. It just eats up everything. Like I'm not saying this machine is going to go out and crush a Turbo S. It simply won't. Right. Like geo like geometrically the suspension, but what this machine can do and still have some of my other favorite things that I'm going to talk about, like storage. Uh, it's insane, Eric. Yeah, it is, it's awesome. We rode all day here. If you haven't caught on, you know, we've been here all day shooting videos. <laughs> <laughs> Though, what I'm gonna call like woods whoops that this was going through and breaking bumps, like it'll take small chatter, it'll take rocks, it'll take bigger suspension events. And it's, you're, we had, no problem. A bunch of people just hanging in the car. Yep. Hanging in the vehicle. Yep. It's awesome. Awesome. The speed at which we could go through the trails here that if you pan right, Eric, I'm normally, I, I haven't come to Namaji before on a side-by-side. -side. I've done a ton of off, more off-roading in a side-by-side -side than a, you know, a bigger vehicle. Yeah. But I've been here only in my forerunner. Awesome suspension also. Fox suspension. Cool icon stuff. However, this thing kicks the crap <laughs> out of that on the trails. We were hitting all the trails with such speed. I was couldn't believe how short the trails were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, number one, Eric. Yeah. Suspension, capability, just beefiness. Number two, in the vehicle, light breeze. Feel the breeze? I hear it. Sounds good. The mic's getting the breeze. No. Enjoy the breeze. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Cookies, whatever. <laughs> Second thing I like about the general, love about the general. What is it? Storage. The amount of storage in the front, including this little tray that I, I don't even still know what I'm going to do with it because I have so much room for other things. Standard center console. Deep. Yeah. Deep. Uh, the front baggy thing that changes the tray into an awesome storage area. A dash, uh, glove box. <laughs> glove box. What's the dash way I was saying that? Dash, dash box? box? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the glove box. The music tucked out of the way. The rear center console. The trays back there. All the way to a full dumping box. Have I ever dumped anything out of it? No. But you could and still the space is what I like. Yes. Most of my off-roading in side-by-sides has been with razors, Eric. Okay. Most all of it. So being in a general now for a while has been an awesome treat, I'm gonna say. I love the space in the back. And like I already mentioned, the aforementioned suspension slays. Yes, it does. Plus I can carry the whole bag plus I can have an awesome cooler, plus I can do upper rack stuff. Yep. If it's not the Rhino rack, which just came out, obviously, all the other racks we make, all the way back to the headache rack. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All of the stuff that I can store here and have my cup holder. There you go. Right? There you go. It's just like, you can legitimately go camping in this machine. We were out there at some campsites, and Eric was like, imagine if you just brought some freaking a tent out and some food and bonfire stuff. Like you can literally go camp in this machine. It's awesome. 
the storage on this machine is awesome. And that is the number two thing. Join me for number three. Number three, Eric, three Got it. is the size of this vehicle. Okay. So side-by-sides in general are smaller than forerunners, pickup trucks, mm -hmm. big things, um, even Jeeps, which are a little bit smaller vehicle and you know feel very nimble, I know. My buddy loves his. Uh, Side-by-sides being even smaller, but not too small, is my favorite, one of my favorite things is the size of this vehicle. The length, like on this four-seater versus a Razor, just a tad shorter, you still get stability in whoop sections, having that extra bit of length. It's like the perfect medium between what I used to be familiar with on Razor with two and four seats. Okay. But the size of this machine is awesome. Four adults are sitting in here, Eric. Okay, yeah. And having a plenty of room, having a good time. So you're not even worried about that. And the size for the trail is just perfect. Stability this way, the length, perfect. You still have awesome agility in every way possible, every measurable way compared to a Jeep, a 4Runner, whatever you're used to. The size, the turning radius, how you can steer this around, you can still take very sharp turns and get on a ton of tight areas, go through the woods. I love the size of this vehicle being smaller on the outside than a lot of stuff, but still on the inside, feeling like you have all the room you could need. Yep. Eric and I all day, shoulder to shoulder, two grown men. Never felt like I was close to him at no, all. No, no big deal. There's other side-by-sides where it feels like you're close to the person you're with. And I feel like having the center console is like a divide, a, an appropriate divide. Yeah, it's a good space. There shouldn't be too much divide in society, Eric. No. But having this divide physically between <laughs> you and your passenger is a very nice thing to have. So n number three. The size of the vehicle, one of the things I love. For number four, inside the vehicle, which is comfort, Eric. Comfort, like that. I don't know what goes in these seats other than foam of various densities and layers. Yeah. But if you talk to anyone who's been in a general, generals have the most comfortable seats. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. Still having these bolsters to some degree, yeah. though less aggressive, but enough to keep you on the trail. The seats are so comfortable. They really are. Like, once again, Eric and I in here all day long, same things in the back. You just feel good in the vehicle. Like it doesn't, you know when you ride all day and you're like, you feel that you've ridden all day? Yeah, yeah. It's not like that in a general. I also like, now that these XPs have the new steering rack position, you can just get locked in with the perfect driving setup. Yep, yep. You can go, I usually switch between a little higher and just a little lower, depending on what I'm doing. Those two clicks are what I like. Where this puts it, I mean, you could tuck it down so you're like in this position, you certainly can still ride it high, <laughs> whatever you wanna do. Um, but just the comfort in here, where everything is,